everyone, it's me, Dirty Honey. So I was thinking about um, existence, and like we exist, right? Like what the fuck even that means? We call it life, I guess, but we exist, and we don't know how long we're going to exist. Like we exist in life, our definition of existence as it is right now in the present time for everyone watching this video and everyone who's on earth if there is a fucking earth right that's a different video but um, so we're all existing right now in some kind of fucking weird realm or reality or whatever the fuck this is dude it's crazy shit bro crazy life man that's a fucking understatement for sure dude if there ever was one but our existence in the present is like, you know, we're trying to figure it out. We were kind of just placed here at birth and what the fuck's going on? We exist. Okay. What does that mean, mom? Dad, can you fill me in? And they're like, yeah, here, this is what it means. Okay. This is what you're going to do. Jesus, whatever, whoever the fuck your parents tell you. Right. And then, you know, where life goes on and we're still existing, trying to figure that shit out. And we kind of get scared of existing past life. Kind of like, it, you know, our existence takes a turn and we don't know what the fuck's around that corner, dude. We don't even know where the fuck, what road we're on now. Much less what the fuck is around that corner. So it's kind of like, oh shit, and the people in the present time, in our realm or whatever the fuck, right now are saying that... I, I don't know what everyone believes, but for the most part, I think people believe about eternity. Like, the time has no beginning, there's no end, we're just fucking in this loop or some shit. What the fuck? Time, bro? I'll try and understand that, and maybe I'll make a video of that shit, but I don't even understand time. That's fucking way out of shit, bro. So, anyways, you know, it's etern that's another, I mean, fucking eternity, dude. Time, like, just... Actually, I guess it's a little bit easier because it slices of that eternity and you get to break it apart. But fuck, eternity, dude. You keep slicing and you look off into the distance and it just never fucking ends. Are you kidding me? Like a fucking bottomless pit and shit? What the fuck is out there, bro? God damn, dude. In time, just it just goes forever. Seemingly. And so that forever eternity part, like existing past the life part that we're with, what we're trying to become comfortable with, or at least, you know, we think we're comfortable in it, at least, and maybe we are, I don't know, I'm comfortable, but people are pretty comfortable in this life thing, right, okay, so, I'm not quite sure what's going to, around that corner though, just like everybody else, we're all wondering, and some people use this mirror called religion to see around the corner and have them know what's over there, but my mirror broke. I broke it with a fucking hammer because it was bullshit. So anyways, <laughs> what happens with that eternity thing is we get scared of it because we can't fit it into our head. It doesn't fit. It's bigger than our brain, dude. Eternity goes for fucking ever and our brain's only like as big as our skull, right? And then the mind, you know, it goes for a pretty long time, but dude, that shit runs out of energy when it tries to figure out eternity, dude. It never fucking ends. You don't have enough time to figure that shit out. It goes forever. Fuck, dude. And so it seems natural to be afraid of that a little bit or at least have some hesitance or anticipation about it. And so I'm trying to come to grips with that myself. And I, I have exercises that I do, mental ones, not sweaty ones, that uh, help me kind of place myself in eternity and have, you know, understand what my existence might be like after I die. And so I've, you know, doing this experiment that I have a video of about, and I don't know what the hell it's called. Just watch all the videos, dude. You'll find it. And um, it talks, it basically, t windows to the soul or something like that, dude. You look, you know, look it up. Um... <clears throat> read your own mind, maybe that's what it was, anyways, back to eternity and, and, and existence, right, so we get afraid of existing forever, and always let the truckers in, dude, these guys have a big fucking truck, you gotta, dude, don't be a dick, let them in, bro, 
Come on, dude. You're cool, man. Get that big-ass whale of a fucking vehicle in front of me. I got an extra couple of seconds. Like, dude, don't be a dick. Okay? Driving. Go ahead. You too. Look, I'm seeing I'm letting the little car in, too. I'm a nice guy, bro. Uh, be nice. All right? You see that? I just did. I was nice to two people on tape right here. Now, there's another Amazon trucker right here. I'm going to let him in, too. The people behind me are probably like, fuck this guy in the fucking stupid spaceship on the moon. Get the fuck out of my way, dick. Quit letting everyone in. Calm down, dude. All right? I'm being nice. You should try it, dude. Anyways, so eternity and existence past life is fucking scary shit, right? So I'm... I, I Anyways, back to... Like, so I do this exercise where I look in my windows in my eye and, you know, try and figure shit out and, it, and, it, and it's kind of let me recognize that I'm not afraid of existence after life and it doesn't matter if there's a I mean actually the God things look makes it more scary to be honest with you I'm afraid of that shit because he's like fuck you you better do it right but I'm not going to tell you how to do it right you got to figure that part out too with all this confusing stuff in the way fuck dude <laughs> and so religion I think actually uses this fear of existence past life as their primary tool to fear people into looking in their mirror to view around the corner even though it's all bent and shit the mirror's not showing you the I don't know what it's showing you fuck me don't listen to me it's showing you the truth dude Jesus is over there bitch fuck alright and so uh, just I'm trying to with myself accept and grasp and, and be comfortable with existence past life which I have, I think, got a, a... Oh, man, they close this exit? Dude. Man. The moon has some serious traffic, and I'm driving with my windows up. It's hot as fuck on the moon, dude. You have no idea. You have no idea. Uh, so, so, uh, so, exi- you know, existing for eternity, potentially, is a scary thought. I'm trying to come to grips with that using my mind to understand it from the point of not understanding it, if that makes sense. Understanding that I don't understand, but knowing or trusting or experiencing life as it is without fearing it. Why would we be here just for some fucking painful, whatever, torturous, unhappy shit? Like, I mean, I guess life is full of that too, but I don't know. Maybe it can get way worse than life or be with the worst portion of it that none, you know, not everybody experiences, fortunately for the ones who don't. And, you know, I don't know how that all works, dude. Okay, but I'm not afraid of it. And that's, you know, paying attention to that kind of helps, and in involving the paying attention to that in my mental scope is, it feels enriching or or comforting to me, so that's it, I don't know if I have anything else to say about that, just don't be afraid of existing, dude, you exist, fucking get over it, bro, you're gonna exist potentially for fucking eternity, which is forever, no end. All right, so maybe everything just ends. That doesn't seem that bad, actually. If you're, you know, if you're afraid of, of existing, you might go with one of these beliefs that just says you die and everything's just turns off. Like you're sleeping without a dream for fucking ever, dude. That, I mean, maybe that's not that bad. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Everyone probably has a different view on that, but anyways, this is Dirty Honey telling you to be nice. All right, don't be afraid of whatever the fuck we are in whatever the fuck we're in and forever, however long it's going to be. All right, I'm sure it's going to be fun, dude. I'll see you out there in the after whatever's after life, after existence. It will be the afterlife. Yeah, in the, 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 whatever, dude. I'm trying myself in a knot. I'll see you guys later. Like, subscribe. Tell all your friends and be nice. And don't forget, 91.5 KUSC plays the best music on the planet. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for free. Commercial free, dude. All right, listen to it.
Dirty honey. See you next time. Oh, I almost ran a red light. Dude, don't YouTube when you drive, bro. There's a reason they say not to do that. All right? Be safe. See you guys later.